Okay, we're ready. The last video I created had a technical difficulty, so I had to shoot this over again. Sorry if my lighting's a little weird. I don't really have my uh, light with me right now. So I'm just in my mom's room. I was watching the Florida Old Miss game, and currently the score is 14-14, 6.43 left in the second, and it's first and 10. Watching on ESPN, but since I've been gone, I got new glasses. I'm wearing my Eagles shirt, and college football started, the NFL started. The Stanley Cup final started between the Dallas Stars and Tampa Bay Lightning, and Tampa Bay may win it tonight. If and um, the Western and Eastern Conference finals between the Heat and the Celtics. So let's talk about football. College football's back with the COVID pandemic and how chaotic that's been. Like some states, like sovereign states, like SEC schools are letting people in, but they're just social distance. Some are not. The Big Ten and like Pac-12 weren't supposed to play but they they came back it's been weird like this whole year has been weird the nfl was kind of the same i kind of liked how the chiefs game during that was kind of intimate so yeah and you know brady's debut as a buccaneer he kind of looked sloppy and then the next week he looked good cam on the patriots that was amazing if he keeps playing like that they're gonna rubber craft may extend his contract but anyway let's get to the eagles the first week of the season, this is like a my thoughts on a video and slash the preview. The first week of the season, we were playing the Washington football team, formerly known as the Washington Redskins. And we were like doing good. We were like, we, we blew a 17, like seven lead or something. And the offensive line didn't protect Carson. Carson was throwing like crap. And we ended up blowing a game. And then the next week, we played the LA Rams who a week prior beat the Cowboys in that beautiful, beautiful new stadium, SoFi. I feel sorry fans can't be in that because that's a place you have to be in person in. So is Allegiant, but I digress. You know, uh, they played. They almost they, they were almost sort of close. They got whooped by the Rams. They made Jared Goff look like Steve Young. Carson overthrew, and fans are already demanding Jalen Hurts. And this is my honest thoughts on Carson. I like the guy. I defended him. But I think what happened to Carson, I'm going to be honest, I'm not going to sugarcoat this. And this is going to, be, I think he's regressed since that injury. And I think there's a lot of pressure, personally, pressure on him. Because he's living in the shadow of Nick Foles. Remember outside Lincoln Financial Field, the statue of Nick Foles? And the players liked Nick Foles? I'm not trying to create drama, but... it Like, the Nick Foles thing reminds me of the Phillies. Like, you know, when the Phillies won the 08 World Series and the 09 LCS, like, we fell in love with that team. We fell in love with those players, and rightfully so. That's how the fans are feeling about Foles. And they say, oh, we should have traded this once because he's injury prone and he's, uh, he can't stay healthy and, oh, he sucks now. And I'm going to be honest, I hate to admit this, but Dak is low key getting better. But Carson, he needs to get his act together because this is the preview. We're, we are playing the Cincinnati Bengals this coming week, tomorrow, and the Bengals are hungry. Joe Burrow has the it factor, like LeBron said on Twitter. He has the it factor. He is hungry for that win, and he hates losing. And, and we got to get our act together. If if we lose this game, people are going to want Carson Wentz's head. Some fans said it's like Donovan McNabb all over again. You know, we had a banged up line. We had some injuries. And I have also SB Nation's Bleeding Green Nation coming up. And they were saying the Eagles are 0-2. And they've also witnessed the 0-2 Bengals in week three at the link. And it's like Joe Burrow and the Bengals are closer to their first victory of the season. And the Eagles are based in the first two games of each team, especially without, without us in the stands. Because knowing us, like, you know, I defend Philadelphia fans, you know. Because I think how the media says, oh, they boo their players, and they're just the scumbag fans of the earth, where there are generally other worse fan bases who do that, and also other fan bases boo their players, but they just kind of ignore it. Yeah, Carson Wentz would have been booed so hard, and rightfully so, because that means he has to get his act together. And also, I was I watched this show on CBS Sports Network, Tiki and Tierney, and I think one of them said, like, Carson Wentz went to South Dakota State. Or, yeah, I think it was North Dakota State or South Dakota State, one of those universities. And he said the media there was probably limited. It was kind of small. It wasn't like Notre Dame or USC or Alabama, so it's limited. 
<laughs> and, you know, and I never the Eagles YouTuber said this. I think a lot of the criticisms and the stuff gets to Carson's head. Like, he overthinks this stuff. He over he tries to do too much. You gotta, like John Legend said, you gotta take it slow. Take it slow. And, sorry if I almost stripped it off here, but, you know, it's like they're saying he's off to a hard start. He's looking for his first season, first win. And Carson Wentz is looking for a big bounce back. Yeah, so. And we had so many injuries on our line. And I think last time, uh, Nathan, I don't know who, like some of our guys got injured. And I just hope the Eagles win this. Because even ESPN, Dan Orlowski is a big Carson Wentz fan. They're saying, oh, Carson Wentz can't do it. He's not the guy. He's not the guy. My curiosity question, if Bowles was here during all this, do you think he would have done well? You never really know what would have happened, because some fans say, well, he got benched for Minshew and Trubitsky. And even Urinating Tree said he's like a situational guy. But let's, we'll see what happens. Also, off topic, the Raiders played the Saints, and they whooped the Saints in that beautiful, beautiful new Allegiant Stadium. I think it's more beautiful than SoFi. But too bad fans won't be in it, but all right, I'll probably mo I will see you guys tomorrow for the post game, see what happened, and this should be interesting. All right, you guys have a nice day.